I'm Natalie Bennett, the leader of the Green Party of England and Wales, and I'm here for the launch of, of Chris Jokel's um, Green Party campaign for the general election. Since the financial crisis, real wages have been in decline uh, by about £1,750 a year on average between March 2009 and March 2014, the latest period when data is available. Why do you think that's happened, for a start, and what's the solution to it? I think there's, there's two issues here, one of which is for public sector workers, the impacts of austerity, and the fact that we're seeing essential workers, skilled workers, educated workers, simply aren't being, being paid a fair wage because we're seeing the squeeze in public services. We're also seeing the impacts of privatisation, and privatisation of services really means three things, which is, uh, it means pumping public money into private hands, cutting the pay and condition of workers and cutting the quality of services. And then when you look at the private sector, we've simply got a situation where big multinational companies in particular are being allowed to get away with not paying their way. Simply put, every worker should be paid enough to live on. They should be paid a living wage. If you work full time, you shouldn't have to rely on government benefits to pay the rent, to buy the food, or indeed even worse, have to go to food banks to rely on charity. So what we have to do is simply say, particularly big multinational companies, you have to pay your way, pay your workers a living wage. This week there have been strikes by workers in the NHS, the civil service and other sectors, including a strike by um, GMB members uh, of the City Clean Service in, in Brighton and Hove. What's your opinion on each of those strikes? Well, I think you know, the situation is in terms of particularly addressing the Brighton situation, um, you know, we support all of the national strikes. The fact is that the poor, the disadvantaged and particularly low paid government workers are being made to pay for the errors and fraud of the bankers. Um, in terms of Brighton, it's a very difficult situation um, in that we have, we're running Brighton Council but as a minority administration. One of the key factors that I think everyone should know is that last year and again this year we're actually calling for a referendum on a significant council tax rise, more than Eric Pickles will, al will allow. You know, a rise that would actually allow us to preserve various government services. And yet last year the Labour Party voted against allowing us to have a referendum, allowing us to put a choice of a tax rise that would fund essential services to the people. And I think all the signals are that the Labour Party is going to do that again this year, which you know, is the Labour Party voting for more austerity and more cuts. Why should working class people, people involved in the Labour movement, and specifically people involved in the anti-austerity movement, why should they vote Green? I think I'll start with the anti-austerity movement. We simply say that austerity is a failed model. It's failed in its own terms, and it failed because of what it actually does is makes the poor people, disadvantaged people, particularly the young and women, pay for the errors and fraud of bankers. So we are opposed to austerity. In terms of working class people, we are the only party that are saying very simply that the minimum wage should be a living wage. If you work full time, you should earn enough money to live on. And we're also saying that there should be decent benefits available to everyone who needs them. Because the fact is that every person outside perhaps the 1% of the richest is only one accident, one medical emergency, one redundancy away from needing the benefit system. And it should be there for everyone who needs them, providing decent benefits. And not grudgingly, but generously saying that we're, we are or we should be a humane, decent society and we should ensure that everyone has access to the resources for a decent quality of life. And then finally in terms of the, the unions, you know, I was out on Monday at the NHS protest picket lines in London supporting the NHS workers who've seen their pay cut 15 to 20 per cent. And it's really telling that the uh, Royal College of Midwives are on the first strike, were on their first strike in their 133 year history. Our public sector workers, in particular, have been just pushed so far that they're fighting back, and the Green Party will support that fight back. And you know, I will be on the uh, TUC march tomorrow, and I think it's really important that's as strong as it can be.